Hi everybody, it's Axe Reacts, and welcome back to another episode of Reaction of Demon Slayer. Today we're moving on to episode 5 and going on from there. Last time we had Tanjiro continue his training with Earl Kodaki, and over the course of two years, he was working on his craft, learning the skills that takes to become a Demon Slayer. It was all in preparation to join this competition for the Demon Slayer Corps to see if you're actually good enough to join them, and so lots of trainings and trials are in front of him, and over the course of these two years, he also had these former students appear to train him further, and we ended up learning that they are actually like spirits or ghosts and they were killed by this one demon who he ended up coming face to face with in these trials and so now the mission was on to get vengeance for their deaths and we had Tanjiro show how he uses like this thread to kind of see the best point to attack and it was really cool and we ended up also seeing him utilize water through his weapon and it was just awesome man he ended up killing this demon and then the episode ended so we're going to see what happens next as we move forward with Demon Slayer guys I'm super excited to continue on and see where we go from here I'm assuming he will will eventually be joining the Demon Slayer Corps officially, so maybe that'll happen this next episode or in this video. Let's find out together, guys. I'm so excited. Thank you as always for watching with me. It means a lot that you're here, and if you haven't already, please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel for more reactions coming soon. We do have a Patreon as well where you can help support this channel, so feel free to check it out. The link is in the description below, and thank you to those of you that have already done so. On Patreon, you can view this episode of reaction for just a dollar a month. It's unedited and unfiltered. It means a lot if you consider, so please do if you can. And here we go, guys, with episode 5 of Demon Slayer. Let's Let's go. Your mask is what gives you away. Oh, we get to see this again. Except that's how I pick out who to eat. Total concentration. Water breathing. First form. There's the thread. There's the water. Slash. So cool, man. That was awesome. And it makes me wonder, like, is this all, like, element-based? Like, can other characters utilize water? Is there going to be, like, fire and wind and earth? You know, like, the core elements? Like, are we utilizing that kind of stuff? Or are there lots of other spectrums, you know, of these elements that we can utilize in this battling and stuff like that? So I'm curious to know that. Um, I feel like we see some fire stuff happening in these credits. I'm going to try and see if I can tell, but we definitely see him use water at some point. Um, so I'll try and pinpoint that if I can. But this guy in the, this like blonde orangey hair character, we met him for a brief second last time. He is also in the running to join the Demon Slayer Corps because he's in the credits, because it looks like he is joining Tanjiro. Like, I'm assuming that's going to be our one of our main characters that we get to know more about in this episode. Uh, or video, I guess. I don't know. So catchy, man. Yeah, so this guy's, like, shooting arrows. Like, is that something that you can utilize? Like, or is that every, like... I'm very curious to know how this all works. Like, is it unique to the person? Or, like, are there different art forms? Oh, that guy has lightning. Okay. So it looks like more than just the core four elements to be cool. Let's go. Episode five, my own steel. Oh, was this a flashback of him losing his students? It's gotta be. That was a cool transition. No, no, no. I never would have thought it had come to this. See, he looks sad. He looks like reluctant to kill the demon. Like, even though it was bad. Why would I eat my own big brother? Huh. I had a brother? What a sad scent. Oh. 
He's God. Help him. Next time this man is reborn, please don't let him turn into a demon again. Brother, wait up! Can you please hold my hand? Like, it's such like a blob of an evil demon, like, and showed no sympathy, and now you really feel for that character, like, you knowing he was a human Sabito, that got turned, and, like, Makomo, shows true sympathy all the for others him. Whose lives were taken by this demon. There's all the students that were killed. It's over. They you can, can rest now. Yep, I was gonna say, they can rest in peace, they can move on. Like, did he know the demon was still out there? I almost feel like he didn't. I feel like he would have went after it if he knew. That's Wisteria. I made it. Only four of us? We started with over 20. Wow. So he didn't make it. I've survived for now, but soon enough, dead. Welcome back, everyone. And congratulations. We're pleased to see you're safe. Where's my sword? Patience. We must first issue you all uniforms. It will be 10 to 15 days before the weapons are ready for you. Really? But first... <laughs> now that you're demon slayers, you must each be assigned your own Kasugai Crow. The Kasugai Crows are primarily used to facilitate communication. Wait, Crows? <laughs> you got a little bird. Sparrow? I don't need this crap! <laughs> Get that man a sword. He needs to calm down. Who the hell cares about some stupid crow? The color changing katana. I want it now. Do you hear me? Huh? Take your hand off her. Are you finished chatting with each other? <laughs> You gotta respect the process. You can't just get a sword. Take some time. I don't have a clue what to pick. Yeah, I feel like all four of these characters, like obviously Tanjiro, we know, but I feel like the other three are gonna have just as interesting stories that we're gonna learn about. Oh, Nezuko, I'm sorry. I'm no closer to finding a cure. To making her human again. I don't know. I feel My like uniform feels heavy. if demons could be turned back I to humans, like somebody would have figured it Not out by now and hurts. it would be done. Like we would be doing that. Like I don't think there's going to be a cure out. And I feel like it's going to be a hard truth for him to learn. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. We'll find out. Nezuko, Uro Kodaki. Oh, she's awake. Nezuko. You're here. You came back. Oh, he's crying too. You were able to kill that mutated demon. Yes. Ah, he did know about it. Okay. Then it's over. This is only a guess, but I believe Nezuko can recover her strength by sleeping, instead of consuming human flesh as other demons. Okay. Do. Fifteen days later, let's go get her sword. My name is Haganezka. I've forged Tanjiro Komodo's sword. I am here to deliver it. A clown mask? Huh? 
Come on, draw it already. Michirin swords are also referred to as color-changing katanas. Because depending on the bearer, they change color. Or black. <laughs> black? That's interesting. Why? Does turning black mean something bad? Is it unlucky? No, no. It's just that it's a little unusual. Sanjiro Kamado! I bring you orders! You must go to a town northwest of here! And hurry! Young girls are disappearing! You must hunt down the demon responsible and destroy it! Tanjiro Kamado, prepare yourself well! Alright, well, we have our mission, we have our black sword, we are officially a demon slayer. Let's go into the next one and see what happens. Alright, episode 6, the swordsman and his demon companion. Let's go. Tanjiro, now that you have officially become a demon slayer swordsman, I would like to explain a few things. The demon slayer core uniform you're wearing is made with a special kind of fiber. It's lightweight water-resistant and non-flammable. A low-level demon's fangs and talons are incapable of penetrating that fabric. Okay. It's that strong? Black blades are rumored to only be wielded by a swordsman who has little chance of going very far. Wow. <laughs> oh, well, I don't care if I'm destined for greatness. Because no matter what, I'll turn Nezuko He back. just wants to help his sister. Yes, you That's will. It. Nezuko, from now on we'll always be together. Will we see him again? I feel like we will. He's kind of like a adoptive father Nezuko, in a sense. You, you know, doing? caring about his students. And I feel like Tanjiro is his only student right now. So as far that, that we know of, I'm assuming it's his Nezuko? only one. So... I feel like we'll see him this again. This is only a guess, but I believe Nezuko can recover her strength by sleeping, instead of consuming human flesh as other demons do. Go to the source. Let's go. There's still a faint scent of the demon here. How dare you! You lost her! You bastard! I was about to say, like, we're, like, the demon, like, attack him too that we didn't see, but no, it's just his parents, like, being abusive. I want you to stay indoors where you'll be safe. I will, mother. Like, why just girls? And I feel like we're going to see right now, you don't have to be outside. This this one's probably going to get taken too, if I had to guess. Yep, here we go. I was going to say, is it going to just, like, take the whole bed? But, yes, it is. Oh, my gosh. That's terrifying. Oh, new fear unlocked. <laughs> Don't go to sleep anymore. Oh, my God. This is it. 
They're right here. Two cents. One demon, one human girl. The scent is strongest, right? Here! Oh, man. Wow. The Blood Demon Art is a special spell that some use to give them abilities. You may end up having to face some of them in the near future as well. The ground, the wall, I bet it could come from just about anywhere. Now, water breathing, fifth form. Uh oh, there are more. Oh man, there's three. Tanjiro, listen to me closely. There's only one demon that has the kind of blood that can turn a human. Just one. That's it. In the entire world. The first demon there ever was. He's been here for more than a thousand years. He's your target. The one who attacked your family. Wow, okay. More importantly, I believe he's also the one who might know how to turn your sister back into a human. That demon's name is... Muzan Kibutsuji. Eighth form! Muzan? Waterfall Basin! He has the white hat? I think we've seen that guy in the credits. Total concentration! Oh, water breathing! Second form! Water wheel! Wow! Girl 16 already, she's losing flavor by the second. If I don't eat her soon, there won't be any left at all. <laughs> Bring us to go back. The girl you took the other night. <laughs> Which one was that? <gasps> if her hairpin is in this collection, then I'm afraid I've already eaten her. Sorry. Yeah. It's no good. Jeez. Oh, here we go. Let's do it. Two What's on three. The meaning of this? Who are these two? She is ready to fight. Let's go. Wow, well that worked. Oh man. <laughs> well we're gonna see Nezuko in action. Right now we're gonna do one more guys. I gotta see how this ends up. Uh let's just go into it. Here we go. Alright, here we go guys. Episode seven Kibutsi Mugan. I mispronounce it, I'm po apologize. I believe that's the name, though, of the very first demon that they were talking about. Come to me. Oh, man. Nezuko, I'm going underground. Keep them safe for me. Going down. It's a swamp. It's clothing and stuff that belonged to the people who were taken. 
There isn't a whole lot of air down here in the swamp. Also, the darkness closing in on you only adds to the weight you feel. <laughs> you underestimate me. After all, where do you think I got my training? The air's even thinner up on Mount Sagiri than it is down here. Here we go. Oh, we got him. Very nice, very nice. He must have given her a massive amount of blood. Just a long, long nap. I can't get back down to the swamp! Oh, jeez. Hands off my sister! How many people have you killed? Give me a break already! If women live too long, they turn ugly, and then they won't taste good anymore! I killed them for their own good! You know, you should be thanking us! Oh, gee. <laughs> what do you know about Muzan Kibutsuji? Tell me! I, I can't tell you. <laughs> oh, true fear. I just can't. <laughs> you must tell a soul. No one can know anything about me. Do you understand? He's terrified. <laughs> I can't tell you, all right? <laughs> wow. She's asleep, and the bleeding stopped, so that does help her recover. I feel bad for this guy, too, because he lost his, his sister. Are you all right? I lost my fiance. Oh, fiance. I'm sorry. How could I be Thought right? it was a sister. <laughs> Mr. Kazumi, you have to go on, no matter what, in spite of losing people, even though it's devastating. How am I supposed to do that? You're just a kid. What do you know? I'll be on my way now. Hopefully, you'll find something of Miss Satoko's in there. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I'm leaving the girl with you. Get her home safe. Be his next fiance, maybe. I don't know. How many people have you killed, tortured, tormented? Musan Kibutsuji, I'll make you pay. Head to Asakusa, Tokyo now. Rumor has it a demon's lurking around there. Gah! I've got another mission already. Oh yes, you do. <laughs> The big cities have come a lot further wow. than I expected. <laughs> it's nighttime, but it's so bright out. Pardon me, sir. Could I get a bowl of udon with grated yam? 
I've never been to a place like this before. It's way too crowded. <laughs> What's going on? Smell somebody. It's the same scent I found at my house. Oh. Muzan Kibutsuji. Oh, are we doing this it now? Must be him. He's here. And the plot thickens. Is he? He's living here, posing as a human. Are you all right? You seem to be a bit flustered. Darling, what's the matter? Don't worry, Mother. <laughs> they're human. The girl and the woman. Their scent is human. He must have made a mistake. Thought that I was someone else. Oh, you think that's it? <laughs> what are they doing right in front of him? Oh my god. Was oh, that to mask his scent? Or is he turning that guy into a demon right now? Oh my god. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh, man. I was going to say, of course it's going to end like that. Oh my gosh, like that was unexpected. So not only like the big bad that I'm thinking like it's going to take all season to like learn who this guy is, the man that killed his family, all that kind of stuff. Like we're learning, we already had the name drop in this video. We already now met face to face and to confirm his beliefs, you know, we see this guy straight up turn a man into a demon. And I have to assume the wife and child don't know. Like, he's doing it so discreetly that they're not aware of this guy's actions. So, you know, I was thinking, like, he's actually good. He's maybe doing this for another reason. Or he has to do this to survive. And he's doing really reluctant about it. But otherwise, he's trying to live a peaceful, happy life with a family, you know. And being like hidden as a human kind of thing you know so I was thinking of it like that but he's just like very discreetly straight up turned that guy into a demon and and that's not cool at all so like I feel like yeah he's evil um but he's just leading a double life he's kind of like you know I'm thinking of like the kingpin from daredevil and spider-man or something like that where he's just like you know has this family and he's coming off as you know they make him better they, they keep the human in him alive you know but when he's alone, when he's not with his family, he's doing some really bad stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's see a preview. I found Muzan Kibutsuji. It won't be long before Nezuko's human. Mm. On another topic, the people in Asakusa sure are stylish, aren't they? Mm. It'd be a great look for you. And now it's time for a Taisho era secret. Toyo from the udon shop was born and raised in Asakusa. I hear he keeps making udon there just because he loves the place so much. Okay. Wow, I'd feel so grown up in a suit like that. I should get back to my mission first, though. Episode 8, The Smell of Enchanting Blood. Oh, man. What's in store for us? I don't know, man. I'm very intrigued. Enchanting Blood is our next episode title, so that tells me that maybe Muzan's blood or, you know, is like when it combined with a human, like that's the blood that turns him into a demon. Like, I don't know. Could it be something like that? Like, that's his special ability is to turn humans into demons. Like, they said that nobody else can do that. So there's literally just one demon going around making more demons. Like... You stop that guy, you know, then it's just a matter of taking down the rest and then you're demon free at that point. So is it that easy? I don't know, man. I, I'm so torn on like how to feel about this, but at the same time, it's very exciting and very intriguing to 
have these two come face to face already and I'm very eager to see how this guy is going to play this off like I feel like Tanjiro is going to have to battle this demon in the next episode and what's going to happen with this Muzan guy like is he going to stick around and watch or I feel like he's going to be taking his family and leaving the scene and then it's going to be tracking him down again I don't know man I'm very excited as I keep saying to see what happens next so thank you so much for joining me as always it means a lot that you're here if you haven't already guys please drop a comment down below let me know what you thought of these episodes and this reaction I always love to chat with you guys about it and we'll be back next time for the next set of episodes thanks again for watching have a great one and we'll see you next time